May God bless you. So, when I was about three years old, going to preschool, I was very quiet. Very quiet. Something most people who talk to me now will find uh, not the case. Especially while talking to others. I like to talk to others a lot. Some people have noted I don't reveal many things about myself, about my personal life, but I have no problem talking about other people's life, as having the podcast is a good example of. But going back, when I was three years old, the doctors or psychologists, I suppose, they wanted to diagnose me with a condition known as selective mutism. So, it's a serious condition, but it's kind of um, ironic. God has that, uh, the Holy Spirit has lots of jokes and ironies. Because back then, of course, I was a lot quieter. Didn't speak much at all. I wouldn't speak to my teachers. That was really the case. I wouldn't speak out in publicly. Out in public. Public. I wouldn't speak to classmates or anyone like that. I would speak to my family, speak to my parents, siblings, but it was just out in public. I'm not sure why that was the case. I'm not able to remember that. Just recently, I was reading The City, The Mystical City of God by Venerable Mary of Agrita. And so she was writing about the entire life of Mary, the Blessed Virgin Mary, our mother, the mother of God. She was writing about how Mary also didn't talk much when she was younger. And so during that period, I like to imagine now that I was conversing with angels or meditating upon all of these heaven realities, heavenly realities, that as Mary, I was preparing myself. I was growing with the capacity to eventually speak with great power with great conviction to bring other souls to God. And another moment comes up in my youth as well. When I was going to vacation Bible school as a Baptist, they have the sinner's prayer you pray, and then you really make the decision to become baptized. And so that's really the end all of the Baptist faith. But as a child, as a child in the fifth grade, that was a very serious moment for me. And so I remember saying that prayer alongside a friend. I think we both kind of made that decision at the same time. Uh, after hearing the young adult leader talk about Jesus and conversion, admitting that you're a sinner, believing in Christ and confessing your sins, the ABCs of prayer, I still remember that. He said all that, and it was very moving to me, I guess, at a young age. And so, I, I said the prayer, prayed the prayer, the sinner's prayer. And so, that's really the act of acknowledging that you are a Christian in the Baptist faith. And so, very powerful moment for me there. And after, me and my other two friends were going to my mother's car out in the parking lot, about ready to leave... And then we told her what happened. I'm not sure who said it first, but I remember saying something along the lines of, I'm saved or something, that I have made the decision to be saved, to take the Christian faith more seriously. Some Catholics might not understand that line of thinking, but it was an act of truly believing and admitting that Jesus is God, and also representing that to other people. And so that was the part that worried me.
because they tell you that now that you're a Christian, the mission is to tell others about Christ, to bring them to the Christian faith. And so that worried me, worried me a lot. And so this, all of those emotions were overcoming me, and I was even tearful just about that. Not sad, but just overwhelmed with all of that because I didn't think I was able to do that. And so if that's one of the conditions of being a Christian, to spread the faith, to talk about the faith, that was not something I was ready for back then. So I was quiet er, in high school, um, starting to become more outgoing in college. But I believe, as I told before the story, go watch that video, of my time at the monastery, the time I spent working at the Abbey of Gethsemane, where I developed this ability to know what not to say while also having the resolve to say what needs to be said. And so, in today's world, there's a lot of things that need to be said. There's a lot of people who need to repent. There's a lot of people who need to convert. There's a lot of people who need to call upon the name of Jesus. And so... Hopefully, and by the grace of God, I pray and I want to live as if all of those times were preparing me for right now and for the rest of my life to tell others about Jesus, to spread the faith, to spread the light of the Catholic Church in my town, in my family, among my friends, among everyone I meet, to shine as a light. So hopefully, keep me in your prayers that I'm able to do that, to at least bring one person closer to God. Because the salvation of souls is something we should all be most concerned about.